Right, it's Monday today, much nicer day, sun's out. This is the drawing that I keep meaning to show you, and it's pretty much turned out as I expected, as I drew it here. That's about 5.30 to the inside of that timber there. So what I've done is just sat my timbers on top. That distance 5.30. I want these spars to be about 500mm apart. And on my drawing I was looking at it and I've decided to go 90 degrees off the back there. I think on the drawing it looked okay and here I think it's right. So like I was saying, that's 5.30. So I put these at 5.30 each one. Five metres, 300. So I put these at 530 millimetres. And that should work out. I need to check each one. This gap's a little bit bigger for some reason. So what I can do now, set them back a little bit, a bit limited here, but I'll set them back that sort of distance. That'll give me my distance on the front. These ends, I made 300mm for that back one. This front one's 300mm off, it's a little bit longer because it's at an angle. But it's pretty much 300 mil off that timber same on that end these spars at the front I don't want them sticking out too much see that one down there I might take 50 maybe 100 mil off the end of it but I'll shove it back first cut them notch them So I've put every one a hundred mil back. I don't know if you can see. There's a pencil mark up there, hundred mil in from the end. And a pencil marked underneath. This little mark will get covered with a notch when that drops down. I've done the same at the front. 5.30 between each one. Perpendicular or flat up. Yeah. Probably can't see if it's on. And I've made that 350. I don't want it too short. I don't want them looking stumpy. I prefer them a bit longer, I think. So I've made that one 350 there. I'll run that through. Just, I'll probably just measure off 350 there and then from that one I can run a string line to here that I've made 350 and I'm going to cut these back at an angle I think might just cut them square on my drawing I'll show you the drawing but I cut them back, I just sliced them off, you know, that's the way the programme was working. So that's centre.
Easy with two hands. And a hammer. Get ammo on that one. This wood's probably going to dry up a bit anyway. putting screws underneath instead of down through the top because then water won't sit in them you know I can't do much about where it comes to the wood at the top there into the other wood but at least doing a hole at the top there where water's going to sit it's underneath any water will drain out And use screws, just throw them away, don't be tight. You probably knackered one of the heads and that'll be the one that you can't get out next time when you come to use them. Throw them away. Alright, so that's it for today. He's going to move the muck tonight because he's had to come home from holiday because one of the kids has got COVID. I'm going to concrete them in tomorrow. I was just going to put post mix in, but down here, as it says, I'm building a bike shed and the ground's not level so I need to do some 
some kind of base thing. I think I'm going to actually pour a proper base or at least some stretches so I can get some timbers over, put a wooden base on. This is the waste wood, a spare post. I didn't know if I'd have to put two in that end. I decided not to in the end and that looks okay with two there. So spare post. Spare full size timber. Prefer to have one too many not rather than not enough. Piece of crap timber, got a big split in it. And some offcuts. They were unavoidable. And all the tile about and will go home with me. I'll use that on the next job. But tomorrow, like I say. Sort the base out for that. Put the lights back and get this concreted in. And I'll just put the table back in just just to see the table looks tiny now. 